equation of the lines. Find the equation of the line. You have to find the equation of this one. Do you know the equation? Now you have to find the equation. You have to find the equation. You have to find the equation of this line. Okay, let's see how to find the equation. Now, first we will see how to find the equation of the parallel lines. Okay, there's a line like this. Okay, there's a line like this. Okay. Then parallel lines are very easy. Now you can see, you can see this line is going to the four of y axis. This is the y axis. Okay. This is x axis. So what is the equation? It is going to the four of y axis. It's going to the y. Then is y equal four. That's easy, no? If I do another line, understood? Okay. Just write it down. If I draw the another like this, is going to the minus two of negative two of y x. So y equal negative two is the equation. This line is parallel to the y axis and going to the x axis. So. Where the where does where this line intersect the x-axis at five? So if it go into the x-axis parallel to y, the equation should be x equal five. Got it? Is the equation should be x equal five? And it's going to the okay. negative five of x-axis. Then the equation should be x equal negative five. Is going to the zero of x axis like this. Then this equation should be x equal zero. Okay, just copy it down. Now I want you to find the equation of this line. If it is slant line, we cannot find the equation at once. What is the general equation of the line? If it is slant line, y equal mx plus c y equal mx plus c okay if it's a slant parallel line we can just write the equation if it's a slant line we have to write the general equation first y equal mx plus c so you have to find m and c if you know the m and c you can find the equation easily now c is the point where graph intersect y axis we are graph intersect y axis where does the line intersect y axis at 4 so this is c so you can write c equal 4 okay. now you have to find the gradient m you have to find the gradient to find the gradient there's a formula can you remember y1 minus y2 divide by x1 minus x2 then how can we use this one? if we know this equation formula we can find the gradient so we have to get the coordinate of any two points which lie on the point which, which lie on the line so when you take the two points don't take the point like this why is it difficult to get the coordinate correctly so when you take the coordinates, take any easy coordinate. Now this point, what's the coordinate here? 0, 4. Oh, if you want, you can take this point. Doesn't matter. I'll take B, the point here. This point is minus 2, 0. So you can use these two coordinates, these, these two points, to find the gradient okay so how to find the gradient different of y coordinates should divide by the different of x coordinate i will select the 
this point as a first one. So y1 is 4, x1 is 0, y2 is 0, x2 is negative 2. So you can write 4 minus 0 divided by x1 is 0 minus minus 2. So it's become 4 minus minus become plus then 0 plus 2 is 2 4 over 2 is 2. What's the gradient here? 2. So you can write the equation. Then y equal mx plus c okay now we know the m and c y equal m is 2 x plus c is 4 understood if you want to find the equation of the given line you have to find the intercept and the gradient so my advice is before find the intercept find the gradient Finding the gradient is first. Then you can find the intercept. Understand? First find the gradient, then find the intercept. Now find the equation of this line. Okay, first you have to find the gradient. Now the coordinate of these two points you can get easily. What's the coordinate of this one? 0, 4. This is 6, 0. So, first find the gradient. Gradient you can find by y1 minus y2 divided by x1 minus x2. So, I select the 0 for as a first coordinate. The y1 is, is 4 minus y2 is 0. Divide by x. Now I select the y1 as 4, then x1 should be the 0 here. Minus y, x2 is 6. Then what is the answer? 4 minus 0 is 4. 0 minus 6 is minus 6. So you can simplify this up. Plus minus minus 4 over 6, you can write 2 over 3. Got it? The gradient is minus 2 over 3. Intercept? You don't want to do any calculations to find the intercept. What's the intercept here? 4. Yeah, it's going to the 0, 4. Intercept is 4. Then you can write the equation easily. y equal minus 2 over 3x plus 4. If you want, you can rearrange this formula. Look at here. Now multiply everything by 3. Then 3y. When you multiply this term by 3, it becomes minus 2x. Plus, when you multiply this term, plus 4 by 3, it becomes 12. Okay. These two equations are same. If you want, you can take all the terms to one side. Like this. 3y plus 2x minus 12 equals 0. All, all these three equations are same. So, in the same equation, you can give in a different, different forms. Okay. In the exam, sometimes they may give you to show the equation in this form. So you have to get the equation as you should be able to simplify as required. Find the equation of this. Now what are the two points you can take easily? This point is 0, 0. Origin is 0, 0. Then find the equation. Y equal mx plus c. This is a general line. So you must find c and m. What is m here? Write formula y1 minus y2 divide by 
x1 minus x2. So I will take the 0, 0 as the first coordinate. So y1 should be 0, y2 should be 3 minus then x1 should be again 0. Minus minus six minus the current down the minus six subtract on zero one you thought three name zero minus three minus three this one minus minus become plus zero plus six six utre ke the minus half then intercept can y axis a can the value of methana zero Intercept is 0. I thought you can write the equation again. y equal m become minus half x plus 0. So you can write y equal minus half x. This is the equation. Okay. Let's see how to do this one. First, you have to find the gradient. Y1 minus Y2 divided by X1 minus X2. So, 0 minus 6 in it. 0 minus 6 divided by 2 minus 0. Minus 6 divided by 2 minus 3. Intercept to kind of intercept take your name, may point a zero six, so y coordinate take a intercept it. The equation again y equal minus three x plus six. Six, can you find the equation of this one? First find the gradient, then find the intercept. Okay, let's see how to do this one. First find the gradient. m equal y1 minus y2 divided by x1 minus x2 which is y1 I'll take this is as y1 this is y2 okay then 3 minus 6 divided by x1 should be 2x1 x2 then what is x1? 2 minus 4. Answer is minus 3 divided by minus 2. Correct? Minus 3 divided by minus 2 is plus 1.5 or 1 or just 3 over 2. Variant is 3 over 2. Then what is intercept? Okay, let's try to sketch these two points. This point is 2, 3. X coordinate is 2, Y coordinate is somewhere here. Not on the Y axis. 4, 6 is also somewhere here. Not, okay. This is 2, 3. This point should be 4, 6. Okay. None of these two lines are on the x, y, y axis. So, if we, if we know the points on the y axis, we can find the intercept easily. But unfortunately, this, this, these none of these two points are on the y axis. So, we have to do some calculations. We have to do some calculations to find the intercept. Okay, none no, if we can't find the points on the y axis which is belong to the line, so what we have to do is we have to do the calculations and find the intercept. Let's see how to do the uh, uh, calculations. Look at this screen. So, what we have what's the general equation of the uh, line y equal mx plus c? 
Okay, we just substitute the gradient. We have already found the gradient. Y equal three over two x. We have to find the intercept. See, then what we do is we substitute any of these two points, any of these two points to this equation. Okay, any of these two points to this equation. I'll substitute two, three. You can substitute any of these two. Ah, then now you only can substitute kind of below. I'm substituting two, three. Okay, let's substitute. What's the point we are going to substitute? Two, three. The y, the x coordinate should for the x. Y coordinate should for the y. Okay, y. What's the y coordinate here? Y coordinate is three. Again, three or two. X is two plus three. Then two and two you can cut. Then this become three equal three plus c. Then c become zero. 